We just had a 4.6 moderately strong earthquake in Athens, Greece. The geological department of the uh, country says that it is an aftershock of the 5.3 magnitude that we had July 19th. I would uh, venture to say that it could be, uh, what can I say, maybe we don't know after the fact if it's a, uh, an aftershock of the July 19th magnitude 5.3 earthquake, as the geologists are saying, or if it's a foreshock to a bigger earthquake. We have no idea. We'll have to wait and see. And this is it right here. This is the main earthquake of uh, 4.6 that we had about 7.09 local time. And this is uh, an aftershock of somewhere else. I don't know if it, I think we had a... Uh, we also had a foreshock of 3.6 around Corinth, which is about uh, 100 kilometers away from Athens. So, this is the actual location of it. It is the area of, a, of um, a fault zone which is underneath the base of the, it's at the base of the mountain of Barnitha, where we had the 1999 earthquake of 7 magnitude. The geologists are saying that the July 19th 5.3 magnitude was an aftershock of that earthquake, the major earthquake that took place 20 years ago. And uh, we do see earthquakes happening 20 years, for example, in uh, the case of Yellowstone. Quake swarms that are happening around the Yellowstone caldera, Yellowstone Lake, they say, they say are due to the aftershocks of uh, the 1959 Hebgen Lake 7.3 earthquake. So you have decades of uh, aftershocks and earthquake swarms and they're saying that that is what ha what is happening now. God forbid, because they're pretty big. Also, I want to tell you that uh, we have had some aftershocks and after the July 19th earthquake, those tiny aftershocks have brought down some walls that were shaken and uh, the bricks have come loose. Uh, also, one of the churches in, not far from our church in um, St. Sozon on the base of the mountain, Capota, has been, uh, has opened up uh, because it had sustained damage from the 1999 earthquake. So, a moderate earthquake could then cause enough damage to bring down the buildings. So, even though the earthquake is not a major earthquake, a strong aftershock can bring down buildings that have been traumatized and weakened and uh, somehow cracked from a major earthquake. So we'll keep an eye out on this because we don't know. And we have a tremendous amount of earthquakes actually going on. Uh, as you can see, this one here, for example, was all the way down this way. But you can see that we have a tremendous amount of earthquakes in the Athens area. Yeah, let's go in a little bit. Yes, yes. Okay, this is the University of Athens Seismological Laboratory. And you can see the tremendous amount of activity here. Okay. Just for your reference. Let's go in and get a little bit more if it can bring us in. Yes. This is... Um, the area that is struck in was near Astropyros. Um, this is Piraeus around here. This is Piraeus, the port of Athens. This is the greater Athens area. And this is where it struck, at the base of the mountain, which uh, has an active fault line. And that, this is the area of the tremendous, tremendously busy quake swarms. So we'll keep an eye out on this and we'll keep an eye out on, on what has been happening at the rest of the world. And this is it right here. And we can look at another um, station to see 
the distance is, this one was the closest. This distance is about 10 kilometers away. The depth was about, here it is again, the depth was about um, 9 kilometers depth. It's the same thing, the same signature as you can see. Okay. And let's take another one. Let's take one that's uh, hmm, pretty far away. Let's see. How about this one? And there we have that. This is from Santorini. And that's it right there. So they have a seismograph at Santorini, which we know is a volcano. That erupted, they say, about the time of the exodus of uh, e uh, Israel from Egypt. So we'll take a look at what's happening worldwide with earthquakes, because it's a very, very busy season, it seems. There's a tectonic uh, activity from planetary alignments. We have um, Frank Hugerbeets Huber that uh, predicted that we will have major quakes around six and a half, seven magnitude, which are considered major quakes. And uh, hopefully we will not have, you can see that P and the S signature. P signature before the quake and the S. There you go. New strong magnitude 4.6 earthquake struck Athens again. The Greek capital was rattled by an aftershock to the 5.3, 5.4 that we had a few days ago. This is according to one of the uh, well-known geologists of Greece. Now, some call it 4.6, others say 4.3. Magnitude uh, 4.6 earthquake struck not far from Athens. Seismologists say it was an aftershock from the stronger quake that we had about a week ago at a 5.3, downgraded by, to, by from a 5.5. The Athens Institute of Geodynamics said that the earthquake, which happened about 7.09 p.m. Athens time, was centered again at 13 miles northwest of Athens. It was felt throughout the Athens area which has, as we know, half of the population of Greece, but there have been no reports of damage. The head of the institute is Akis Celentis. He told the uh, state news agency that the earthquake was an aftershock from the at magnitude 5.3 that we had on July 19th. There were no reasons for concern, he said. As we know, Greece lies in an earthquake-prone part of the Mediterranean, and magnitude 4 quakes are regular occurrences, although they did tell us that, of course, we know that this area that we had this uh, nine, July 19th earthquake of 5.3 was exactly on the uh, fault line that runs at the base of Panitha Mountain. It's also where we have the shanty town of Kapoda, where the earthquake uh, damaged families were set up in, um, I guess you would call it a glorified, it's not a trailer park, the, the houses are much better than trailers. Uh, and uh, that's basically at the base of the mountain, and that's the area that they're still there, they're in today. And this earthquake happened September 7th, 1999. The original July 19th quake, they say, was an aftershock of that earthquake from 20 years ago, a seven ma magnitude quake. And this is an aftershock of the quake that we had July 19th. Now we know we have an uptick in earthquakes lately. We have a solar minimum, plus we have a planetary alignment that causes a shifting of the tectonic plates. And this obviously is a very, once you have earthquakes in an area, it takes some time for the area to settle down. I guess you can say that it's good that we had a quake because of the fact that the pressure is being released. But I don't know if this is a, an aftershock of what happened July 19th. I'm afraid, I'm sorry to say, that uh, even the geologists don't know until after the fact if it's an aftershock or if it's a foreshock. I'm just afraid that it could be a foreshock. Why do I say that? Because I live here and we had not had uh, a major quake for, I guess, 20 years. And I guess you could say that we have an earthquake drought here in Athens as well. So we'll keep a, a lookout on this. I was in, uh, in a building 
I heard the rumble and the shaking came and it lasted for about five or six seconds and I was easy, it was easy for me to run out of the house because uh, I was washing the dishes at the time and I was not far from a balcony that leads to a veranda. So we'll keep a lookout on what's happening uh, in Europe. Uh, we know we had Mount Etna obviously is also active and uh, aviation code red and we'll see what's happening worldwide with other earthquakes. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.